of mayhem happening in here. You broke that on purpose for this, so I'd look bad. <laughs> Call the cops. Oh, Lord. Well, looks like we got a lot of work to do. I'm Kristen, and this is Matt. We've spent the last four years sailing our $5,000 Craigslist boat to some of the most beautiful places in the Caribbean. From spearfishing in South Andros, Bahamas, staying in a treehouse and riding horses through the rainforest of the Dominican Republic, to even dodging hurricanes in Puerto Rico. We could have never imagined what this adventure would become. After gaining more sailing experience, we knew we had to make some serious upgrades to our boat if we wanted to keep this journey going. So we decided to go all in with our 40-year-old boat and get a new engine. We soon realized that we were in for more projects than we originally planned on. There's going to be some major changes coming up, so hit subscribe and join us for the journey. What's up guys, welcome back to Sailing GBU. Today is the first episode of our Boatyard series. It's going down. Ba -ba 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 <laughs> All right, cut that, that's annoying. Today's the day we're going out and we're gonna get some supplies. There's a few things we need to look at. We, like we said in a previous video, we might wanna redo our window, so we're gonna check out a plexiglass shop. What is it called? Plexiglass shops, Brinkin signs. Basically, we're just two baby birds flying out, picking up twigs to build our nest today. So fly with us. That's a weird way of putting it. Let's get to business. Shout out to Salchicha and his wife Laiza for letting us borrow their whip. We got in this nice truck, Toyo Toyota Tocoma. How do you say it? Toyota Tacoma. We got one of these. Toyota Tacoma. <laughs> Toyota Catalma, and we're going out and we're getting the stuff done. Yeah, big shout out, big love. You know, this is why we love Puerto Rico. We get made fun of because everybody say, oh, y'all moved here. Bro, you, when you fall in love with a place, the place falls in love with you. And I love it here. Everyone's kind to us. All right, we arrived at our first stop. We're at a Boricuan, Boricuan signs and display to pick up our plexiglass. We don't know the width that we want. What are the two options we're thinking? Thickness, they're a quarter inch now, but I'm thinking that maybe there's like a little bit thicker one. So I would go for the thicker because they crack and they sprinkle around everywhere. It sucks. Yeah, and we want it to be tinted. Obviously you don't want to be blazing in the sun into your home. So let's get in there. We should go with the 3.8. How much is the 3.8 for a sheet? Yeah, that's, that's good. So we decided to go with the three quarter. We ain't made out of money over here. The I thought eight. you said the one fourth. Excuse me, yeah, the one, the one fourth. The three eighths was looking good for me. You could stomp, you could do the river dance all over that bad boy, but a little too expensive because we have to do some cuts, some rounded edges, some beveling. I want it to look nice. And it's hard to cut plexiglass with the tools that I have because it just melts it and it just, I spend forever doing it. So I'm thinking for this, I want the windows to look good. I'm gonna outsource it, let the pros do it. And then I'll just be doing the installation myself. Yeah, each cut's a price, each corner, yeah, each rounded corner a dollar, is rounded a dollar. Corner's a dollar, bevelings X amount per linear foot, the polish for it. It's, a it's day one of our boatyard bonanza and I'm already feeling the burn of the pockets. Listen, we saved up our peanuts so that we could treat our old girl treat our old girl nice i hate looking out those crusty windows when i go to a nice beach and i can't even see nothing i can't see the paratas when they're coming to take us over but we're gonna get it done no, there's a lot of confusion i just gotta there's a lot of confusion well you know in the sailing world there's a lot of confusion as to who's a pirate and who's not a pirate and we're everybody must be looking out chalky <laughs> windows like me i feel like i know the difference between a pirate and a fisherman but a lot of these people are like is it a pirate should we shoot them ain't nobody heard about no pirates bro you know well, we got windows now to know 
Now we're gonna know. We see Johnny Depp and Apollo, whatever his name is, coming. We're gonna say crystal clear window. Yup, it's the Paradas. All right, guys, we're coming up to our second location, and I'm really excited because it's Black Friday up in here. There's gonna be some deals. We might have to push people off our cart. We don't know. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, it does look pretty busy. Bro, if I gotta double egg somebody <laughs> off of a toolkit, I will do it. We're about to spend probably more money than I've ever spent at Home Depot before, but you know, we need a lot of tools and a lot of different things for all these projects. And it's a perfect time because it's Black Friday, 40% off deals, you know? Let's pop off, maybe. I say that now and then I don't want to. How do you feel your shopping spree went? I hate spending money, uh, but you know, we've been working for years now, living out of a cooler, saving all our peanuts together. And you know, I traded them all in because I want to do it right. I don't want to be looking at these things, wishing I'd spend 20 more dollars in life, you know, five years ago. I played that game too many times and you know what? It's getting old. Plus Black Friday deals <laughs> help, right? Black Friday deals. <laughs> Final stop of the day. We're out here. I got my ticket and I'm ready to ride. All right, guys. So yesterday we got all of our stuff. We stocked up. I mean, we're probably gonna have to make hundreds of trips, but we got some stuff. And first things first today, we need to get everything out of the boat. Our clothes, our food, because there's going to be sawdust. There's going to be tons of, tons of mayhem happening in here. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Matt set up an air conditioning for me. This is a first for us. We bought a small air conditioner and how'd it go? It's keeping it barely livable in here realistically because you don't get wind in the marina. So I said, we're gonna get slaughtered. We learned that last time at the dock or oh, when yeah. we were on the hard. Yeah, you get no wind out here. So it's pretty sufferable. Sufferable? I don't know. You suffer when you're out here with no breeze and no wind. So I have a little air conditioner that I can run off of our batteries before I can get a shore power converter. And it's working pretty good. So let's get to action. I'm gonna be moving my clothes. I'm gonna be throwing out a lot of stuff too. So she says she's gonna be throwing away a lot of stuff too. Eh, Colin Bluff on that one. I don't know who you are in your relationship, but I know who I am in my relationship and I know who my lovely wife is. She's the hoarder. She will not <laughs> let go of anything. She's gonna find like four I toothpicks. I call it not being wasteful. She's gonna find three or four toothpicks to say, oh, I feel like we could use these someday. We I do eat, not. We do eat ribs a lot and she'll put a little rubber band around them. I do not. I'm not that bad. So she's the hoarder. Me, but I have just as bad of a trait. I throw things away because I'm like, ah, I haven't touched them in a year. And then obviously we know, you know, I have bad luck. So the mo a week later after I throw it away, I need it. So then I have to order a new one. So I do the wasteful. Yeah, I'm a wasteful. I'm the order and she's the hoarder. So let me know in your relationship below who's the orderer and who's the hoarderer. <laughs> So hoarding and ordering, those two things aside, no matter what happens when you're cleaning and you're decluttering, you're always gonna find things that you just start playing with. I found this hat, 
I put it on and I realized I look exactly identical to Ashley Larry. <laughs> and it brought back a lot of memories for me, you know, when I needed things. And I was like, hey, hey, y'all got any lithium batteries? And maybe like some Man, sales? Get back to work. You're dragging this out. All right guys, so we got all of our stuff on the dock. Now we need to load it up on a cart and bring a lot of it up to the Airbnb, right? Yep, we're gonna be ripping it upstairs. It's a long trip, so I'm gonna go see if my dog Chi Chi got a cart for me. Is tying this rope necessary? I guess if you have to bring it up the elevator. Yeah, it's definitely necessary. It's gonna make your job a lot easier because you'd be the one trying to keep everything on if I didn't do it. The worst thing's happening. What's happening, Matt? Tell everyone's happening. It's basically my worst nightmare. <laughs> I know I like to say that a lot, but uh, the maple syrup obviously got crushed somewhere and I, I sprung an oil leak halfway out. Uh, the worst thing that could spring a leak. Well, the ants are gonna be happy. Not as easy as you thought, huh? Definitely not as easy as I thought. They call this Cruiser CrossFit for a reason. All right, guys. Today's the day that we're doing something crazy. The mayhem is coming in. The interior is going to get ripped up. It's demo day. So before we get started, if you're not a subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button because you're going to want to see all this madness. I sound really confident right now, but let me just tell you people, we have been going back and forth on decisions. We do not agree on anything. Me and Matt are very opposite. And if you didn't know, we are very opposite. <laughs> So we've gone through a lot of different things. We've decided on a few different things, but today's demo day. I'm keeping my mouth shut because, you know, demo day is not my thing, but I'm going to help out. So let's see how this goes down. Anything? Any two cents? Yeah, we've been going back and forth like a ping pong, but I think we came to a nice compromise and I said, look, we got to tear it down before we can build it back up. All right, first things first, we got to save Big Mama's artwork. I got to get all these drawers off so that I can get to my bulkheads. This crap. So as you can see, I had to revert to that. These old, uh, what are they called? Cabinet right? doors? No. Hat hinges. hinges. These old hinges are all rusted out and are all seized up, so I'm gonna end up cutting them all out. Me and all my infinite wisdom, I got a wood blade instead of a metal blade for my multi-tool here, so I didn't, uh, I didn't get the right thing, so I'm struggling to get to I thought you bought one. I got a, I got a wood one. I got a wood and a titanium, you know, I can cut, like, some crap, but it's not getting through them screws very good. Multi-tool blades are like 40 bucks though. So I'm like, ugh, I just couldn't take the hitter. I got the $18 wood one and paying for it now. Oh Lord. All right, 
so I got my doors off. That's good. Now I have to get the framing off and I have to be gentle with this. I can't just be a caveman with a hammer like I really want to do because this may get reused and also it may, once I can check it, see if there's any water damage, I may reuse it or I'll at least have to use it as a template. So I got to take care of this, keep it all in one piece. <laughs> he's pulling that off he's taking some time it seems a little more difficult but you know that's how everything goes I'm gonna be peeling off the weird panels that we have put on our bulkhead we got to get rid of those and we're gonna have to redo all those bulkheads so I'm getting in there right off the bulkheads it was fun I feel like I'm a demo girl and Matt didn't tell me that I could use the back of the hammer to start plying it off and whole pieces were coming off so on to the next project this is where we get a little bit what's the word we don't agree we didn't agree we agree to disagree I mean, but can we agree on one thing is it boatyard Betty or is it demolition Darlene <laughs> It is not Darlene. We Demolition are, no, Darlene. No, we're doing Boatyard Becky and that's it. And I already don't like Boatyard Becky. It's Boatyard Betty. Oh, all right. Boatyard Betty is in the house. That's what it is. We're cutting at that. But let's get to what we were talking about. Initially, when we were thinking about redoing this boat, I was thinking about let's do a few things that would just annoy us and fix them. And Things start snowballing there with Matt, and he starts, let's get rid of this, let's do that, let's get rid of that. And now, we're in the situation where these pocket doors, he hates them, and he wants to get rid of them. We don't use them. I don't mind them, and, you know, if you want to shut a room, you have that option. He doesn't want them. He wants to move them so you can sweep the floor. They have the thing there, and I just don't care. So basically, let me tell you about this. Hot, hot pockets. <laughs> this is our door here. As you can see. No, this now you're making me look bad. That one's broken. Here's Maddie. <laughs> but yeah, the pocket doors are gonna be gone because what did we say? We're gonna modernize our old boat. What this was that? Modern. Wait, let's stop. What was that? Here's Maddie. That seems like a horror movie. It's from The Shining, I think. Oh, that's scary. Anyway, speaking that. of horror movie, these pocket doors are a horror movie. Back in the day, if you got a house from the 50s or something like that, maybe you got a pocket door in your crib. Pocket doors have come and gone. They gone. They're getting rid of the boat. If anything, I'll put a new door here with a hinge if we need the privacy for the love nest. But yeah, this thing sucks and they're horrible. They rattle around. They take up extra space. You broke that on purpose for this, so I'd look bad. <laughs> Call the cops. This pocket door in the bathroom doesn't do anything structural. It just takes up three or four inches of the wall space. So, you know, getting that out of there, getting a little more roomy commode, I think is going to be good for me. You know, if I'm getting like the spasms. Ah! Yeah, I got a little bit extra room to shake my leg here. damage continues it looks like here you go big boy you got your pocket door off how do you feel about it oh yeah I feel great about it this is the stupidest piece of crap I've ever dealt with in my life look at how much more open wide open the space is I feel like Dixie chicks bro wide open spaces <laughs> I gotta tell you, honey, I might just keep it. This one was a formidable opponent to get out. 
I might just put it on a hinge here. What do you think, y'all? Nice little hinge door to keep that area closed. Let I me know. don't know. So Kristen found one flaw in my removing the pocket doors theory. Definitely cuts down the privacy in the bathroom for sure. JK, JK, LOL. We're gonna get new doors. We were gonna do a new door anyway because this one doesn't really work. So obviously I'll have to extend to clip the door. I may put a little partition here too just to kind of strengthen that up also. All right, so as you can see, the old digits go right through the bulkheads and that's really not ideal. Um, I can't say we're surprised, um, or I can't say I'm surprised at least, because I knew that these bulkheads were pretty bad and I decided to say, you know what, boat's pretty strong altogether. Those two bulkheads aren't gonna make or break it. It's pretty well laid up in here. So I said, you know what, I'll risk it for the biscuit and I'll just go sailing. And we've done just over 3000 miles like this. So it can be done, but I'm not telling you to go do it, disclaimer. So basically I have two different types of bulkheads here. The big brown one that I stuck my finger through and then uh, these other fiberglass ones that the rigging is attached to. The rigging is attached to uh, hand laid fiberglass. So those are a lot stronger, but even these look like the wood in there because it was fiberglass over wood. So it looks like the wood in there has swollen and kind of bellied those out too. Definitely going to have to hit the books on that one, but I have a professional that may be able to come help me. I'm not sure yet. On my starboard side bulkhead, the big one. As you can see, maybe it was a little bit worse than I thought. Well, looks like we got a lot of work to do. Today, we are going to be testing out a couple different products. Strippers. Strippers. <laughs> We're trying to lighten the wood to see if we can still use it. We don't like the reddish look of the wood that we have in here. It's darker than we'd want. We want a lighter modern aesthetic. So we're gonna test it out, see if we can reuse this wood. I'd like to save this old teak, but teak's kinda red. So I'm gonna strip this out and see if it's usable. So I got my two different kind of strippers here. This is cinnamon and this is sparkle. Matt. <laughs> I think that this one was a little more expensive, but this one says it like is more of a degreaser and deglosser. So it's supposed to like pull a little bit more of color out of things. So I'm gonna try them both here, scrape them, sand them, and then once they're dried out, then I'm gonna wet them up and see what the color is gonna be if I just put like a gloss on there. So now I got 15 minutes to wait to see how it works. And then I come back and do a little bit of scraping and see where we're at. Time's up. Let's get into it and see which which is which. That's the result I got with the liquid sandpaper. So far, you know, not blown away by it, but it's all right. So the Stripper Platinum product does a lot better than the liquid sandpaper. This stuff's pretty cheesy, it's just okay. The one thing I'm not quite sure about is that even though it's sanded off and it looks good when it's dry, I could settle on that color once it gets wet. Ew. It's still pretty red and almost like a green. So I think this wood isn't gonna be usable for us. Maybe I could bleach the wood and get it lighter or some sort of acid I can put on it to pull some of that red color out, but who knows. All right guys, so Matt has been working a little bit off camera. He's still demoing a lot of things, but for this video, we're at our end. So we now see that we have a lot more projects to do. Shower looks like it's kind of more rotted than we anticipated. Bulkheads 
a lot worse than we anticipated, but no shock because we knew we were going to have to redo a lot of this stuff and we're happy that we are getting to do a lot of this stuff. So hit subscribe if you're new here. Give us comments and ideas about the bulkheads and different things and we'll see you guys next week. Anything you have to say? That's it. A lot of projects. Let's go to work. <laughs> Bye.